Shalom, Israel, most high in Christ. Bless. It's 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Yadin, and to my right, Officer Ananiah. And what we're going to go over today is we're going to deal with the company that you keep. What does the Bible say about the company you keep? All right? And let's start right off to it. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and start at verse 9. Read that. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 9. Go ahead. I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators. So the Bible says that you shouldn't keep company with fornicators. Read. Yet not altogether with fornicators of this world or with covetous or extortioners or with idolaters. For then must ye need go out of the world. Go ahead. But now I have written unto you not to keep company if any man that is called a brother be a fornicator. So this is talking about right here. It's saying any man be that's called a brother, right? This is going into people that's in the truth, right? Because it says for you to not be around fornicators and covetous people, extortioners and idolaters out of everybody in the world, you have to lead the world, right? But dealing with your Israelite brothers and sisters, right? It says, if any man be called a, a brother, be a fornicator, read. Or covetous. Go ahead. Or an idolater, or a railer, or a drunkard, or an extortioner. With such a one, no, not to eat. So it says you shouldn't keep company with people that's in that type of sin, right? Because guess what? That sin will rub off on you, right? Let's go to um, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33, right? So the company that you keep is important. A lot of people don't understand, right? But it says, I always say, if you can look at the circle of friends that you are, that is around you, that's what you are, right? If you surround yourself with a bunch of murmurers, guess what? More than likely, you're a murmurer. If you surround yourself with all your friends, they fornicators, guess what? More than likely, you're going to have that same spirit on you, right? Read that. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Go ahead. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupts good manners. So guess what? If you surround yourself with people that are speaking evil things all the time, guess what it's going to do? It's going to corrupt your good manners, right? So it basically saying you shouldn't keep company with people that's always speaking evil, always got something negative, right? It's going to corrupt you, right? Let's go to 1 John chapter 4 and verse 1. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 1. So it's good. These things are good to know who you should be around who you should be surrounding yourself with. What should your circle of friends look like? Read that. This is the book of 1 John chapter 4 and verse 1. Go ahead. Beloved, believe not every spirit. So it says, believe not every spirit. Just because somebody says they're in the truth, she got a dress on with fringes, brother got a big beard, things like that, you can't always believe every spirit. Read. But try the spirit, whether they are of God. But guess what? The people you surround yourself with, Right. You should be proving them with the Bible. You should be proving them with the word of God. Right. You should see that they line up with what the Bible says. Go ahead. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world because everybody in this truth ain't real. Everybody that's here, they're not here because they love God. Other, some people have different motives to why they're here. Right. Go to Second Corinthians chapter six and start at verse 14. Second Corinthians six and verse 14. Right, because guess what? We gotta mind our company, right? We gotta figure out the people we're around. We gotta protect that thing, right? Your space and your time is valuable. You gotta protect it. Read that. This is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter six and verse fourteen. Go ahead. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So basically the Bible says is don't be around unbelievers. Don't be around people that's not keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. Go ahead. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Why should you be, if you're righteous, why should you be around the unrighteous? What fellowship should you have, Reek? And what communion hath light with darkness? If you have light, you can't have darkness. You got to have one or the other, right? You can't be in the middle of this thing. You can't be like, well, I'm kind of here, I'm kind of there. No, you got to be one or the other, right? Light and darkness can't be together, Reek. And what concord have Christ with Belial? What concord is Christ and the devil? You're not Christ and the devil are not going to be on the same accord, right? Keep reading. Or what part have he that believeth with an infidel? So the Bible is letting you know is giving you the left and the right, the up and the down, the north and the south, right? Guess what? We should you shouldn't be unequally yoked with unbelievers or people in certain type of sin, right? It always should be a separation between those two. 
Keep reading. Verse 16. Go ahead. And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? What agreement, right? What agreement should the temple of God be with idols, right? If you want the truth, why should you be around people that still celebrating Christmas, right? Still got crosses, crosses on their neck, things like that, right? What agreement should they have together? They should have none. Keep reading. For ye are the temple of the living God. Go ahead. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Go ahead. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate. Be, be together. Be ye separate. The Bible tells us to come from among people that's not keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's caught up in any of these different sins that have a lot of these different attributes, right? It says, come out from among them and be what? Be ye separate, Go ahead. saith the Lord, Read. and touch not the unclean thing. And touch not the unclean thing. If you join to all these unclean things, guess what's not going to happen, Read. And I will receive you. Christ is not going to receive you if you stay joined to unclean things, right? Go to Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 20, right? Proverbs 13 and verse 20. It's something that we got to understand that you can't be halfway in the truth. You can't be, well, on the Sabbath, I kick it with my Israelite friends, and then on uh, Sunday night, I go hang out with my worldly friends. That's not going to work. Keep reading. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and verse 20. Go ahead. He that walketh with the wise men shall be wise. So it says if you walk with the wise, if you surround yourself with the wise, guess what? You're going to be wise. Why? Because you're going to pick up their attributes. You're going to pick up their wise sayings. You're going to see how they walk. You're going to have good examples to follow. Go ahead. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. If you're around fools, guess what? You're going to act like a fool. You're going to do foolish things. And then those foolish things, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be destroyed. It just says the Holy Bible. Right? Go to Psalms chapter 1 and verse 1. Psalms 1 and verse 1. Right? This is the book of Psalms chapter 1 and verse 1. Go ahead. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed is the man that don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Guess what? If you surround yourself by the ungodly, what you're going to do? You're going to start taking counsel of them. You have an issue with your wife. You're going to call it, pick up and call your ungodly friend. And what they're going to give you? Think they're going to give you godly advice on how to deal with that? No. They're going to say, let's go out to the club. Let's mess with some women. Let's get your mind off of it, sis. You ain't got to be out here. We, look, you can go out to the club, put your, um, your freakum dress on, and let's go hang out. Read that again. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. You're going to be blessed if you don't walk in ungodly counsels. Read. Nor standeth in the way of sinners, right? nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So the Bible says don't stand in the way of sinners or don't, seat, uh, don't sit in the seat of the scornful. Don't surround yourself with these type people. Why? Because guess what? It's going to rub off on you. Go to, uh, go to Psalm chapter 26 and verse 4. Psalm chapter 26 and verse 4. So the, look, the book of life is giving you the way to live righteously, right? Stay away from wicked people. Don't surround yourself. Mind the company that you keep. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 26 and verse 4. Go ahead. I have not sat with vain persons. Read. Neither will I go in with dissemblers. So don't be around vain people. Or don't even deal with dissemblers. People that's about uh, that's that's about this, uh, mess and all those different stuff like that. Right? Murmurers, backbiters, disassemblers, people that's trying to, um, that has issue with, you know, there's an old saying that misery loves company, right? Somebody, they not happy, so guess what they're trying to do? They're trying to make everybody else unhappy. Don't be around those type people. Go ahead. I have hated the congregation of evildoers. It says you should hate the congregation of evildoers. To be around a bunch of evil people, it should vex your spirit. You should hate that thing. Is that it on that? No, sir. Read. And will not sit with the wicked. It will not sit with the wicked. That's why we got to follow these Psalms right here. We got to follow what the Bible says. Don't sit with the wicked, right? Don't be around the congregation of evil doers. Go to Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 24. Proverbs 22 and verse 24, right? And we could do a longer class on the company that you keep, right? But we're going to give you a quick 15-minute rundown of it. 
Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 24. Go ahead. Make no friendships with an angry man. So if you see somebody that's angry, they're always mad, they're always out the spirit, guess what? Don't be around that type of person. Read. And with a furious man, thou shalt not go. And don't go with a furious man. You know how many people are in prison right now because they went on a ride with somebody that had an issue with somebody. Hey, man, come ride me real quick. I need to go take care of some business, right? You know he mad. You know he always into something. You see that look in his eye, something ain't right, right? But you know how many people got in that car and end up being accessory to murder, right? Accessory to all kinds of different crimes because guess what? They surrounded themselves with a furious, angry man. Read. Least thou learn his ways. Least you do what? Learn his ways. If you're around somebody that's furious, that's angry all the time, guess what? You're going to learn those ways. You're going to start picking up on those attributes, right? And get a snare to thy soul. And you're going to get a snare to your soul. Guess what? You're going to have something holding you back from getting into the kingdom. All right? Last scripture, go to Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. Proverbs 12, verse 26. So, Israel, you got to make sure you watch the company that you keep. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 12 and verse 26. Go ahead. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Read. But the way of the wicked seduces them. The way of the wicked will seduce you. So if you don't mind the company that you keep and you keep surrounding yourself by wicked people, guess what? They're going to bring you in and seduce you into their wicked ways, right? So this is 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Yadin, and to my right, Officer Anania. All right, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless. Shalom, Most High Christ bless. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.